Emmy winner Lawrence Fishburne is one of those actors who commands every scene or role he's in from TV to film. He earned, of course, that Academy Award nomination for his portrayal of Ike Turner and What's Love Got to Do With It, opposite Angela Bassett as Tina Turner. And we believed him as Morpheus when he told Neo that The Matrix is everywhere. Now he's playing the great Nelson Mandela in an upcoming three-part series on BET called Madiba. He retells the story of how Mandela spent nearly three decades in prison, going on to become the South African president and a Nobel Peace Prize winner. Lawrence Fishburne, good to see you. Good morning. Good morning. Good you know, morning. you have played so many iconic roles as we just got, and that was just the tip of the iceberg. But to play Madiba... Yes. ...has got to be... A role of a lifetime. Role of a lifetime, one of the greatest honors of my lifetime, I'm sure. Um, a gift. I, I, you know, I said yes immediately and then panicked a little bit um, and then was taken to South Africa by our director, Kevin Hooks, who's uh, actually the first black person to direct a film about Nelson Mandela's life and uh, met people that worked with him, met people that were in jail with him. Um, you know, got a lot of information. All of our cast is mostly South African. And we were in Johannesburg and Pretoria shooting in places where the actual history happened. So our film is, um, is really, really incredible. You know, the thing I love about the, you know, the whole film is that it's not just history lists of Mandela, but it's about other people who sacrificed and suffered for the yeah. freedom. And, and I, I must, that's something I really think is great. That must have been cool to be a part of that. Well, that was one of the things that Mr. Mandela wanted when the producers went to him eight, nine years ago to ask for his blessing. He said, make sure that when you tell the story in these six hours that people understand that it wasn't just me. It was a collective group of people of all backgrounds, of all races, all different kinds of South Africans fighting to dismantle apartheid. You know, it's Throwback Thursday, and I feel odd even telling you that because of your esteemed stature. <laughs> but I'm going to go social media on Lawrence Fishburne because okay. it seems okay. so child. At your own risk. Okay. Throw me back. Throw but, me back. Okay, so here's the deal. Throwback Thursday, people know you were a child actor. My mm -hmm. favorite movie, Lawrence Fishburne movie of all time, Cornbread Earl. I love you, Tamara. This is why I love you, Tamara. It is. I love you. You've never seen it. I, I, I still movie. own it on VHS. It's all raggedy. Oh, my so goodness. So if you have a copy, I'll give you my address. Okay. It's beautiful. But we have something else to show you. All right. Let's Here it see. is. Lawrence Fishburne, One Life to Live. <gasps> Do we have it? Do we oh have it? Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's How not Lawrence Fishburne. That's not, He's a uh, that's, that's not me. That's Al Freeman Jr. Go I was the, the little one. Go, go to the, the wide the shot. Guy. Go back to the there wide shot. In the corner. Big afro. With the afro. And the eyes that look like he's terrified. Oh my gosh. How old were you then? I was probably 11. Wow. And when that's you did crazy. Cornbread Earl and Me? I was 12. This is phenomenal. Wow. And how relevant is that film today? Oh my goodness! Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, it's unfortunate and sad that a film like Cornbread Earl and Me is still relevant today, but here we are. Here we are. Well, and you've we'll done also, a beautiful job with Madiba. That's right. We'll see the relevance of that coming yes, up. Yes, we will. Uh, it's going to be on BET. Starts next Wednesday, February first. Thank you so much. So good to see you. Again. Good to see you All always. Right. Hello, today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there, and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.